Hi everyone! Welcome to Marika Creations. Today I will make some cozy candles. I have taken some glass containers, different sizes, different shapes and also some LED candles. We'll turn them into festive, uh, cozy, uh, fall or winter decor. And this video is part of my Cozy Scandi Decor series. And this is part six. And if you are interested in watching the other parts, I'll leave a link to the playlist in my description box. And this series is all about making fall and Christmas warm and cozy with the inspiration of this Scandinavian decor style. So if this is for you, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video because there are loads of inspiration coming your way. With all that said, let's get started. So this is what I have to work with, some glass containers, small ones, uh, medium ones, And the really big ones, the cylinder shapes, I like that. And I also have a slightly smaller one that I will work with. And these LED candles, I will use them as well, and decorate them. And for decorating, I will use some scrap pieces of faux fur that I have on hand. This one you have seen in loads of projects, only have a tiny bit left now. And this one, I thrifted that one, it was a vest before. And this is another vest and uh, that is knitted and I bought that in the thrift store and I love the braids. And I will use that for one of the containers. And I have knitted this one the other day. And that will go on another one, cozy. What else do I have? Some burlap and some lace ribbons and some buttons and some this yarn is so cute it's faux fur yarn perfect i will start out with this faux fur fabric and uh, i will cut them to fit these led candles and i have four of them and i will only cover the bottom part of the candle. You will see a little bit of my creation process here because uh, I don't know in advance what I'm going to do really, what uh, material I'm going to use and uh, how to decorate. Create as I go along. I have the size right I will just fold in the top part a little bit and hot glue it to get a nice finish and then hot glue the fur into place and I will only put glue on the fur not the candle so I can remove it if I want to this video is part of a challenge useful DIY challenge and it is hosted by Moom at Moom Does Life Handmade and her co-host for this month is Shuli at My Style My Colors. If you're not familiar with these ladies and their channels, jump on over right after this video and check out what they have to offer. I will leave links to the channels in the description box below as well as to the playlist of this challenge so you can get 
loads and loads of inspiration from all the other YouTube creators. And the theme is festive light. And now I'm putting on some adhesive a lace a ribbon around like that and uh, the final touch is a brown little button voila there it is and I will do the same with the other ones Now I will decorate these three glass jars and for the first one I will take this piece of sheepskin and just hot glue it into place and that's the only piece I have so what I'm going to do is to decorate them differently but they will present a unity anyways because of the size of the jars. So the first one ready or almost ready and the second one I'm looking for also a piece that I have knitted and it's a little taller than the jar but that is okay. So I start off by sewing it together. And after I'm done, I will just put it in place like that and fold the top part and it will be a very, very cozy jar. And uh, for the sheepskin, I will put a ribbon on. I'm just trying out what to use. And uh, in the end I decided not to go with that. And uh, for the third jar I take another piece of sheepskin. A little piece that I have left over. And I will hot glue that into place. And this piece of faux fur does not have a very nice finish to it. As you can see, uh, you can see some glue on the ends there. So I will try to cover that up with the lace ribbon. So I'm cutting it to size and hot glue it into place. And final touch for this little jar is a cute little button. I'm hot gluing that into place. And now for the jar with the sheepskin, I will take the same lace ribbon, just uh, hot glue it around like so. And then decorate it with the same kind of button to tie them together a little bit. On to my very big cylinder and I will put that that piece that I knitted just a couple of days ago and uh, that will cover the lower part of it and then I take this full fur yarn and just put it on top there and shall I or shall I not have this tassel there hmm you will see in a minute
For this cylinder I will use this knitted vest that I thrifted for a couple of dollars and I will cut it to fit my cylinder and I make sure that I will have that braid visible on the front of the cylinder and I will keep that little pocket because you can always put something cute in it and I sew it together with some ute twine right side out for that rustic feel. If you're new to my channel, hi, I am Marika and on this channel I do lots of DIYs, thrifting, decorating, a renovation of my home, some pottery, some painting, anything creative. Please join me, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and let's be friends. And once I'm done, I just put it over the cylinder like so and it's a bit left over and that I will fold on the inside like see me do there and I would just put a little hot glue to keep it in place. Onto these two jars I will use this cute fluffy faux fur that was once a vest as well that I thrifted for uh, a little over three dollars at my local thrift store and um, I will put that fur on both of them so they will become twins full fur twins Then I'm taking some dark red velvet ribbon and hot glue it on top of the jar for a nice finish and then I will just hot glue a brown button into place. And now I will use this full fur yarn. It has like loops. Um, I will keep some of them, but most of them I will just cut them so they will open up. And I will take this glass cylinder and I will hot glue this fur onto the cylinder, this test tube. But I will not cover it completely because I would like my lights and I will put fairy lights in it and I would like them to show through. and it will look something like that when it's done and I will put it in this jar so it can stand alone and um, I will end up decorating the jar a little bit with some greenery. I kept one of the loops on the top there so I could hang it if I wanted to 
and I just secure that a little bit with some jute twine. Now all is in place and fully decorated. Here are my cozy LED candles sitting on my candle holder that I did a makeover on in part three of this series. Aren't they cute looking? So cozy! And they fit so perfectly with the with the wreath there and uh, here is my second one the cylinder with the vest and I put some greenery on a little button and on top I made the full fur yarn cascade down a bit on my coffee table I have the three little jars and I have put some LED tea lights in them for safety. They look so cute together. I have decorated my wooden lantern for fall and winter now. And here is the big cylinder with the knitted braided piece on top of it. And I did put the tassel there and it looks so cute, I think. Have some fall greenery and on top of uh, the lantern. I have put some of the leftover full fur, some pine cones and some greenery. And down on the side I have this velvet ribbon hanging down. And here are some furry friends. sitting on my credenza, the nice ribbons and some LED tea lights in them. In my kitchen I have this uh, test tube and also made this little jar off camera and I just hot glued some burlap into place and some of the faux fur yarn and a cinnamon stick. And the cylinder I have decorated with some greenery and it has its beautiful fairy lights there shining through. And I couldn't help myself. I had to decorate my tall candles as well with some full fur and some velvet ribbons. Tell me what you think. Leave me a comment down below. Did you have a favorite? And if you like this video and videos like this, hit that like button and the subscribe button of course thank you so very much for watching and i see you soon again in my next one until then take care bye